Righto. Hi, uh, I'm Kiwi Steve, uh, agronomist at Norco in Lismore, Northern Rivers of New South Wales. And I'm just here at Bex Hill with one of our dairy farmers, uh, Ken Bryant. And we're having a look at the Norco uh, Winter Triple Blend, which is a mix of 50% um, rye corn, 48% Hogan uh, annual rye grass, and 2% falcon leafy turnip, which are all power broken leafy seeds. And uh, it's a blend that we've done for a couple of years. Um, so we're just going to talk again about um, how this feed fits into the system and um, what sort of sowing rates he uses, etc., to get it going. So, um, Ken, um, what, um, so you've planted this for a couple of years now. Um, how does it, um, how do you utilise this and, and what does it do for you? I really like it, Steve, because um, uh, what I found, I think the, we used to plant oats mixed with ryegrass early on. Um, found that the oats was too broad in the leaf and used to um, outcompete the rye sometimes. With the rye corn in the mix, it's got a much um, thinner leaf and, uh, and it sort of coexists a lot better with the ryegrass uh, so that your second grazing uh, is a lot stronger. The rake on doesn't last a long time but what it does is um, this pasture we're looking at here, this has only been in um, a fraction under uh, six weeks, so probably five and a half weeks since we drilled this um, and it's well and truly um, ready to graze, like it's perfect to graze and there's, what the rake on does, it gives us a lot more um, bulk of feed at that first grazing and, and the turnip helps with that as well. A um, lot, more, lot more feed at that first grazing. Um, at a time of the year when, when quality feed really is at a premium, um, that's why we like these blends. This pasture here um, was drilled, so that there was forage sorghum in here. We sprayed that out and drilled this in. Um, and we aimed to get about 30 kilos of ryegrass, so of Hogan. So we're sowing the mix at about 60 kilos um, to the hectare. Uh, of treated seed um, and we end up with a pasture like this like ready to graze it between five to six weeks with, with a huge bulk so yep and how long has this been in Ken? Uh, be, it's about five and a half weeks I think Steve yep. since we drilled this yep yeah. and you'd be looking to graze this uh, we'll be grazing this we'll be starting to graze this tonight this is well and truly yep. ready to graze um, and it just really balances up well at this time of the year when we tend to be on silage um, if we can get a little bit of quality feed like this into them um, uh, yeah, the milk will ta take off um, going into this. So uh, we plant nearly all our early sowings with some rye corn in it, just to give us that. It disappears quickly, sure, after two grazings, but it, it's fairly cheap, um, and it's done its job by then, and the rye grass takes over. So, yeah. Excellent. So um, this <coughs> blend is available at Norco um, off the shelf. Um, you can also adjust this blend and anything sort of over a ton of seed we can actually do up a blend that suits you if you want something slightly different. Um, this one is, is, uh, has proven to be a pretty good one as it is. Um, we did adjust the amount of uh, leafy turnip down a little bit this year from last year. Uh, it was just a little bit dominant last year but um, just uh, talk to your agronomist at Norco if you, if you want to do something like this next year.